Fun. Yo, what's up, fanites? How you guys doing? Stefano Konji is in the building, house boy, and I'm about to tell you guys a couple of stuff about myself. <laughs> Keep it locked. Stefan, Stefan is from Ogun State, Ijebu North, to be precise, part of Ogun State. A lot of people feel like I'm Igbo, but I, I get that a lot. I'm used to it now. <laughs> ah, she went for room, what? <laughs> When I didn't wear that, you know, describe myself in three words. Say, I would say, house boy. I would say, vibes, cruise, and trips. And I would say, speaker of the house. Ah, now words in our talk. You know, passwords. <laughs> How did you come about making music? Well, I came about making music. It started as a hobby. I started music, making music as a hobby when I was in secondary school and I used to mime to other people's music, the big guys that were popping as at that time. And then along the line, I fell in love with what I was doing because it was entertaining, me miming other people's music and then people vibing and I made people happy with it. And then I felt like I could actually do this by myself. So I decided to make it a thing for myself. Do you play any instruments? Unfortunately, at the moment, I don't, but I'm working on one. I'm learning one at the moment. I'm learning the piano. I'm a piano. Yeah, I'm a piano, piano. <laughs> I was able to be one of the pioneers of our piano. <laughs> <laughs> Almost he set up. <laughs> Talking about being pioneer of house music in Nigeria, Omo, shout, out to, shout out to people like Nini Ola. You know, she's doing it big. She's doing it big. And she's been doing it big for quite some time now. I think like she I think she's like the major pioneer of house music in Nigeria even before I came into the space and then I'm doing my thing now and she's my big sis I love her so much you know we text in the DMs and you know no it's all it's all, it's, all, it's amazing though it's amazing uh, uh, house music being being one of the few people that do it in Nigeria it's amazing What's your favorite part about being an artist My favorite part about being an artist is the part where I make people happy with my music the part where I I get random video calls from people and they are at a party dancing to my song, they are in their house, they, are, they send me videos, the part where I go on show my social media platforms and then I see random videos from people where they tag me and they are happy and joyous. Now, that is amazing, that is fire bro, what are you talking about? Stop playing. What is your perception of <laughs> performance anxiety I'm gonna be me I used to deal with that I used to have that back then back then at the inception of my career but as at now uh, over the years I've learned to deal with it and I don't think I still have an performance anxiety as at now because when you get to do something back to back to back to back to back they still can't get enough you know you get used to it and then <laughs> you don't you don't feel anxiety anymore you know you just feel the energy energy Ooh, what is your main inspiration my main inspiration my main inspiration is god my inspiration is god my inspiration is god <laughs> i mean shout out to I, I listen to a couple of people that also inspire me their lifestyle their style of music they are you know their doings they inspire me but then it's still always god at the end of the day i god be number one inspiration is Stefan Okonji in any romantic relationship? Is he what? <laughs> in any romantic relationship? Yes, I am. I am in a, re a romantic relationship right now. It's one that I hold very dearly. I'm in a romantic relationship with my music. And my music, I love my music so much. My music is my baby. Music, I love you. I'm, I'll text you tonight's music. What are you my hobbies, I love to see, I love to watch movies a lot. I love to swim when I can. I love to make music and I do love to travel. I like to be on a road, you know, traveling, explore new places. I like adventure, basically. So that's it about me. Have you ever paid for sex and do you still pay for sex? <laughs> Well, paying for sex, yeah, it's not really my thing. I'm not a huge fan of transactional sex, shit you get, because I feel like if you do transactional sex, how exactly? I feel like sex is a very, very emotional and powerful thing, 
that involves two parties where they share some emotions to it and then when it becomes transactional no hard feelings or no bad feelings to anybody that does transactional sex but i feel like when it becomes transactional the emotion is not there and for me emotion is the old thing for me i'm a lover boy and you know i love the idea of love and love love so i gotta i gotta feel some emotion when i want to do stuff like that but for now Sha, i'm still maintaining my virginity and keeping myself for my wife on my wedding night please <laughs> heartbroken <laughs> Most of the time, 80% 80, 80 of the time, um, they always break my heart. I don't know why. I don't know what I've done to these people. They always just break my heart. I don't know, maybe because I am a soft-hearted person, they end up just using me and dumping me. I don't know. But I'm, I'm praying to God that, you know, God should give me the one for me, the one that will love me dearly and then will not dump me. Have you ever had a bad performance throughout your career? Yes, of course, we all have bad performances. I have, I have had bad performances. The, the biggest artists in the world, they've had bad performances. I've had performances where I, you know, hop on stage and then the energy was not lit, maybe due, due to a bad sound system or I don't know, anything. And then the performance at the end of the day wasn't the way I expected. But then you just gotta keep going. It happens to everybody, you know. But the energy, you keep the energy up at all times, 100%. Shit. Omo, if I didn't become a musician yet, yeah, I'll probably be working in one shop for somebody because there's no work after school. So I'll probably be in a shop working or I'll be in Fela Shrine selling squishies and pomo. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> Smash, marry, or pass between oh. Nini Ola. Daily start and When I don't start, <laughs> smash, marry or pass between Ailey Star, Niniola and Twistberry. Hmm. Well, I haven't met Ailey Star in person. You know, we just made the record. We made the record, and I should be in South Africa very soon, and then we probably meet up and stuff like that. But I will probably. You know, no hard feelings here. I'm just, you know, I'm in a spot where I just got to pick somebody. <laughs> I, I've not met Elista before, but she looks hot from my Instagram pictures and videos that I see. Uh, so I'll probably smash Elista. And Niniola is my big sis, so uh, let me see. Let me just, let me, let me marry her. <laughs> let me marry her. I might not smash her after, I'll just marry Asha. So I'll just marry her, that's all. And maybe pass Twisberry. Twisberry, no vex, so I pass. <laughs> now, <Nah>, cruise. <laughs> if you could change one thing in the music industry, what would it be? If I could change one thing in the music industry, well, the music industry is perfect right now. It's perfect the way it is. Young boys are coming out every day, they are popping big. But if I could add one thing or change something it will be to just sensitize the general public more on the hardship and the problems or tribulations that a young fast rising artist face that music consumers do not even know about and nobody talks about it when they are big because they feel like there's no, really no need to talk about it again if i could Maybe I'll just shed more light on that topic and make that topic see daylight. Describe your relationship with Dark Tonic and Twisberry. Hey, Dark Tonic, Dark Tonic, Dark Tonic. That's my homeboy. Dark Tonic is from South Africa. I think he's from Durban. Amazing guy. You know, I met him on the internet and we connected. And then he told me that he loved my sound and I love the sound also. I sent him my record. He jumped on it ASAP. He sent his verse. You know, no stress. His team, my team, no stress. Twistberry, Twistberry has been my guy, guy, guy. He's been my homie since way back. Back when I was in school, in college, back in school, she's been a very supportive friend and she's been a fan of my music from way back. You know, it was only right that I put out on my projects and then we vibe, we vibe a lot, so... It's only right that she's on my projects and then we see us together, you know what I'm saying? How would you describe your fans? Fanites. I describe my fans as fanites. Yeah, that's my family, you know. 
they got me, 100. Do you have any collaboration you should be looking forward to? Omo, I've got loads of collaborations. Though. Man, I've been working hard, bro. What are you saying? I've been working hard for the past one year. You know, I've been on a low for quite some time. And I just started pushing Houseboy EP. And before then, I've been working and working and working extra. Shout out to Roly, my producer. We've been on deck making sure that we've been making music back to back. I have got, let me just, let me put it out right now. But not everything. I've got a collaboration and a remix coming with a top A-list artist in Nigeria right now. So you guys should watch out for that because it's something big. I can't let the cat out of the bag yet until everything is key. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you for staying with us, Stefano Kunji. Thank you guys very much for having me. Fanites, make sure you go out there and stream Houseboy EP, stream Speak Out The House EP, and stream Vibes Cruise and Trips EP. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for coming out for me. Houseboy concert is amazing. The crowd here is amazing. And I'm loving the energy. You guys should keep supporting me. And I promise that I'm not going to let you guys down. Appreciate the love.